Good morning. It's almost noon here actually, but today is day 80 of walking. And yesterday we did like almost 13 miles um, into Breckingridge, but we took a bus, a free bus, and uh, first go Colorado and got our room for the night and stayed in Frisco, resupplied and drank beer and edited video. And today we're back at it. Um, we have today and tomorrow to get to Leadville. And from there, we're gonna take, um, well, we were gonna take a bus, but Slider, who we actually met, well, I met, you didn't get to meet her, did you? Nope. Um, on the Appalachian Trail last year. Um, she lives in Colorado, so she's gonna pick us up and take us to Vail, where Moosh used to work. And um, we're gonna go crash with Ghost, another hiker on the Appalachian Trail, who actually lives where he lived um, when he first moved to Vail. Same apartment and everything. Yeah, so he's just going back to where he lived essentially, and I'm pretty excited for that zero day, aren't be, you? Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, so that's what we have to look forward to. Rocky zero Mountain tacos. Oh yeah, really good tacos. Oh my god. So that's all I got for now. Going for a twenty today, maybe less. Who knows? Just one of the signs that winter is coming. Since um, we only have two days into our next town, we decided to go hard here and pack the good stuff. Uh, what you got here, babe? Mm. We got some salami, some cheese. I got these discount buns. Discount buns. And uh, we're, we're having fun. Yeah, I'm really excited. I got bacon, mozzarella cheese, salami. Everything bagel, just meh. I'm gonna eat that. So, since we've been walking the Colorado Trail and the Continental Divide Trail hybrid, we have been thoroughly pleased with the quality of trail. I mean, look at it. Look at that flat, nice, easy grade, just well-maintained, superb, outstanding, excellent. It's all the things. Wouldn't you say there, Moosh? You know, babe, you may have been a professional cheerleader, but I was a professional gymnast when I was five. <laughs> Let's see them professions. This trail is so nice that I can do a cartwheel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I'm flexible. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones, walking to King's Landing. Winter is coming. It is 8.15 p.m. and we've done 12.9 miles and we're shooting for 20 so we got some ways to go but apparently on the way to Mexico we go through um is it Copper Mountain Village, Copper Mountain Village yeah. resort and we're hoping there's a bar on the way so we can get a beer. Yeet. 
<laughs> so the trail goes through the town of or Copper Mountain Resort mm -hmm. and we stopped. It's like a ghost town right now, everything's closed. But we found this one open Irish bar. So we're gonna have a beer. And then we have three more miles to get our day in, which is around 17 miles, so let's do it. Good morning. Today is day 81. Um, yesterday we did 15.9 miles and today I think we have like 18 and change miles to get um, to a road where usually people would hitch into Leadville. But we got our girl Slider picking us up and taking us to Vail. So it's going to be a trail reunion and yeah, so the train looks pretty good today, so hopefully we'll cruise and get there at a good time. Um, we didn't get any as many miles in last night because we stopped at a bar on trail and had some beer. And it was just cold. And it's really cold this morning. I'm frigid, but I'm thawing out. Slowly but surely. He's always warm. He's a furnace. Hey. If uh, we didn't already have trail names that it would be ice box and furnace. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So ice box. Like <laughs> what movie is that? <laughs> um, so here is the trail this morning. Beautifully groomed. We've been crossing some ski runs. And yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Got some ice. Look at that water source. What a cute little guy. King of Pride Rock, as he majestically descends his throne, going back to his home. Middle Earth. In the man. Oh, oh, nope. He's back. What are you doing, little guy? Are you a stinky little guy? Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh my God. Whatever I can get close to. Go. Try. Can you hold my stick? It's a little baby. Hi. What are you doing? Are you majestic? So, we've had some crazy stuff just happen. Um, we're walking down this mountain on our way to hitch into Leadville to meet up with Slider. And we run into these two day hikers, Jerry and Sandy. And she goes, I know you from YouTube. And so she's seen my videos. Sunshine's famous. No big deal because one person knows me. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty cool. So we talked to them. They were really nice. They gave us each a bottle of water and some nuts. And they said if they see us on their way back from their hike that they would give us 
um, a ride. So that would be awesome. Cause I'm not sure if Slider's picking us up or not yet. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Small world. Any words? Uh, my girlfriend's famous. <laughs> She's a celebrity. Don't listen to him. But thank you guys so much for the nuts and water. Yeah, thanks guys. What happened? You have zipped your mouth shut and you threw away the zipper part of it. Key? You locked, you zippered your mouth shut and then you had, there was a key that was unaffiliated with the zipper because keys. <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty rad. It's a hotel. Five star. Would you give us a tour? Sure, come on in. So, this is it. Um, um, somebody's in. underwear? Is that like. That brown stuff? They look burnt. Hmm. Sprite? Only, only during a hurricane. And Brenda was here. Is that Brenda? Brenda was here. Hey, what if that collapses on me? <laughs> <laughs> I would never be able to live with myself. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Thank you guys so much for following my CDT adventure on the trek. Um, if you are interested in helping me raise my fundraising goal for Mission Clean Water, um, I will leave a link in the description below of each video to my donation page and you can donate there. You can also text Sunshine CDT, it's all lowercase, all one word, to the number 44321 um, if you're interested in texting your donation um, to Mission Clean Water. And I know these communities would really appreciate your help and I really appreciate it too because I wanna raise as much money as I can for these people to give them clean water. Um, this trail's definitely um, put it into perspective more than the AT, how important water is and how much it sucks to have to walk a really long distance to get to your next water source. So thank you so much for following my adventure and I hope you're enjoying it. And until next time, sunshine out.